Hey everyone, it is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, and let's get into it. Um, this Tea Time is dedicated to Britney Spears. You know, sometimes as the public, we gotta just straight mind our business. Everybody was running around with signs, free Britney, free Britney, free Britney. It was a hashtag, free Britney. Well, now she's free. And now you see what freedom is doing for her and to her. It's not good. She's on the Instagram dancing with barely anything on every other day, uh, swinging knives and dancing and cutting herself up. Seems to not be on her medication and also seems to just be spending and spending and spending and spending the cash. Now, there was word on the street that she, she keep it up, she's going to be broke. But under her father, he made sure she had millions in the bank. She was on her medication and you did not see her on the social media platforms just dancing and, and, and acting wild and whatever else. But now that she's free, you see what you got. See, sometimes we just need to straight mind our business. So let's hear her doctor. It's not Britney Spears' doctor, um, but let's hear her doctor weigh in on this situation in the conversation with Britney Spears. Now, this is an expert saying that she needs to be on medication and under conservatorship again. What say you about what we're hearing now about Britney? Does this surprise you? No, it doesn't surprise me at all because the conservatorship was there for a reason. And even though, like you said, it might not have been, you know, with the right person, the actual process needs to be in place because when you have a mental illness to this degree, you need that kind of structure, supervision, and most importantly, to take your medication. And I think that's probably what's happened here. This is a no medication situation. Why do you say that? Well, because of the erratic behavior, the manic -y spending of money, recklessness, destroying people around her. No one feels safe around her. No one can control her. She's out of control on many levels. Doctor, so what is the answer then? How do you treat a patient that has those sort of issues? Well, these kinds of situations run into a wall eventually. Either she'll hurt herself, she might hurt someone else, or she can be 5150 because she's not being able to take care of herself. And any of those situations will push her to a place where then medication can be given to her against her will. You tell me if I'm wrong here. I don't see a world in which a judge would put Britney under another conservatorship because of the public outcry there was in the first case, whether it was misplaced or not. I just don't see that happening. Well, I understand that. But at the end of the day, hopefully a judge would make the decision in the best interest of that patient. And if that's what she requires, even for a temporary amount of time, that's what she would require. Doctor, is there any argument that could even be made that getting out from under the conservatorship was was a horrible thing for Britney Spears as we sit back and now obviously have watched what's happened? Absolutely. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, but look at it. She slowly is unraveling and it was in place and she wasn't unraveling. She might not have been happy, but she was stable. What would you do if you were taking care of Britney Spears? What would be the first thing you do today to get her help? Medication. Put it in her. If she doesn't want to take it, I would inject it in her. Wow, that's, um, you are quick to answer that. There's no question in your mind. No, if she needs medication, she's out of control. That's from the doctor. He says she needs medication, she's out of control. And he also said that he would just inject it in her if she refused to take it. And similar things to what her father was doing, and it pissed everybody off. But she was in control at that point. Listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this.
right, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and share screen. So Britney Spears, psychologist, a psychiatrist, not hers, weighs in, needs new conservatorship and medication, he said ASAP, okay? So Britney Spears needs a lot of help right now, and the answer may lie in a new conservatorship and a ton of medication, says Dr. Charles, okay? We got the famed Hollywood psychiatrist Monday on TMZ Live, where he offered up his professional opinion on Britney's situation. This, as she appears to be unraveling at the scenes with her finances in shambles as she continues to spend excessively. And you know, when you are spending, 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 whether you are um, a celebrity or the regular uh, average person, if you have $10 going in and every day you have $30 going out, then the money's going to run out. Okay. It's, it's not going to balance out at some point. And it seems like, you know, because many people, they love to say, well, she's a celebrity. She has a lot of money. Yeah. Anybody can have a lot of money, but if you spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it, that money is eventually going to run out. Take a listen, in which we already did, to what Dr. Charles says he thinks Britney Spears required at this point. From his point of view, he believes a second round of a court order conservatorship might be what's best. He also said it appears to him that Britney isn't on her meds. And he said he forced these drugs on, into her system, whether she like it or not, if she was under his care as a patient. It might sound like a very hot take, but Dr. Charles explains why he generally thinks this is the best route for her right now, because in his opinion, she's on the path towards self-destruction and the time bomb is going to go off sooner than later, which may become messy. Of course, hearing this might unravel up the hashtag free Britney crowd who were out in force when she was released from her conservatorship a couple years back. And while the public might be anti-conservatorship, the good doctor tells us a judge should look at what's best for Britney, which he says is a legal apparatus around her to keep her behavior in check. You know, conservatorship, but it's the, the hard thing about Britney is who would do it because we know conservatorship, guardianship, whatever title they want to put on it, it doesn't always seem the best when it's a court appointed person. In Britney's case, many people thought her father wasn't the best person, but it's seeming like now in hindsight, maybe he was, okay? Um, although she didn't like it, maybe he was. Who likes as an adult someone overseeing you? But if you need it, you need it. But the reason why I don't want it to be just a court appointed non uh, known person to Britney is because we see what's going on with um, um Wendy Williams, and this guardianship seems to be have to be stealing or have stolen all her money. So the doctor acknowledges that the conservatorship might go on. Uh, might have might have gone away under her father Jamie's watch, but even on that front. We know Britney's attorney ended up settling with Jamie and got nothing in return. On the contrary, Britney had to pay millions to her dad. Now that we learn she's blowing cash on a ton of vacation and other expenses, Dr. Charles said it's all but clear to him that she needs medical professionals to step in and medicate her because he sees a person who's out of control with no end in sight. Dr. Charles says that while Brittany might have hated her old conservatorship, it was at least a stable presence in her life. And he didn't see that in her, and he doesn't see that in her right now, in her current state. Oh, listen, it's a sad situation, but I think it's obvious, obvious um, she needs some type of help. And the doctor is saying she seems like she's not on her meds. And she definitely needs an overseer and she definitely needs to be on her meds. And I'm praying that, you know what, someone in her life sees that they need to get intervention, step in and get her, you know, the help that she needs. Now, could it be her mother? I don't know. Could it be her estranged sister? I don't know. I do feel like personally a family member would probably be better. But do I know for sure? I do not. But listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.